Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be playing Lee Sin in the top lane. Now, Dopa has come out with a uh, statement saying that uh, he thinks, and he's, by the way, like, best OQ player in the world. Um, I mean, you can debate that however you want, but he, he really is the best. He thinks Zin Sao and Lee Sin are going to be two of the best top laners in the upcoming meta, uh, and that Lee Sin will gradually move out of the jungle, same with Zin Zhao. And... Honestly, I want to try it out. I'll see how it works. No so we're playing against a... Um, let me fix this up real quick. Got some swaps. Anyways. By the way, is that a set officer bottom? Interesting. Anyways, we had... Um, have the Jace matchup up here, which is pretty hard uh, for a lot of melees to deal with. Uh, he probably should be walking up and not attacking a little bit more. That's why I took Doran Shield. But uh, with conditioning, revitalize, uh, I'm going to be pretty tanky. Um, once I hit, uh, was it level 10? Oh, it's 12 minutes, actually. I'm be pretty tanky by the point. We're going to build uh, Bruiser. And we're going to try to fight the uh, J straight up. Ow. Okay, maybe not then. Although he did take a turret shot. Let me see if I can make a play on him. Oh. Okay, I uh, forgot I uh, didn't. Wait, how come? Wait, I tried to ward hop there. Guys, I'm a new Lee Sin. Don't make fun of me. This, uh, this is probably my third time playing. Anyways, uh, I actually was able to. I mean, Jace is actually pretty squishy there. Okay. Start corrupting pot so you can poke me, but uh, one for the all in. I actually got D Blade here. TP back up. So that's Jace Flashdown. Not too shabby. Guys, if Lee Sin Top is a new meta, uh, I'm gonna need some practice. Let's see this. He's mainly form right now. I'll, the best time to go on to Jace is when he just switches forms. Because Jace has a six second cooldown uh, on switching forms. Uh, right now, he's trying to Q with this backline and hit me as well. Actually, I'm going to bait it. I hit the Q! Alright, sweet. So I saw Zach walking up. He was going to go into his jungle, but I decided to uh, have him just uh, go in and... Um, for it, like, I was gonna, like, bait the enforce again. End up working out. I'm gonna shove this. Rip cannon. F in the comments for that cannon. Okay, honestly, not too bad. Early jungle gank after I solo killed the Jace and got a splash. Not too shabby. Alright, let me back up. Wow, so, I mean, I saw, like, I feel like Jace... Is such a strong top laner too, but Lee Sin early is uh, kind of gross in terms of damage. I'm going to Q Max build, which I think is pretty decent uh, against Jace. But you can also go W Max if you want to just sustain uh, shield Jace's damage, sustain through the matchup. If maybe weren't as comfortable, weren't as uh, you know, weren't as ballsy to go in. Uh, or if you're against a melee top and something not Jace, maybe you're against maybe like Jax or Trinmere, something like a uh, Emax could also be pretty good just for the extra poke damage. So I would say Q is for the all in, E is for poke, W is for kind of sustain, kind of work a poke play style through there too. So I've got double longsword here. I probably. You know, I could go Duskblade to go, like, full Assassin. Their team is a little bit tanky with Hecarim, Xerath, and uh, Alistar, though. So I don't want to risk it too much going a build like that. Actually, it's W back out. I want to have this guy shove it in. I will atone. Okay, maybe that sounds wrong if I say it like that. But I want this guy to shove the wave in.
That way I can farm free on her turret. With the wave in this position, it's really hard for me to uh, to farm effectively. So, even though I got the early kills on him, Jace is maintaining pretty good farm over me. Need to set up these minions. Oh! Rip. Okay, I'm level 6. So is he... I'm 5 CS down. Not too bad. Try to see if I can't uh, get onto him. He went pretty greedy going tier after being down 0 2. But I guess Jace is just kind of like that. Jace gets mirror mana and then he just one shots you with Eclipse. Like mirror mana Eclipse. It is like his uh, 1 2 power spike. So I've got pretty good Omni Vamp coming in from Doran's Blade. I've got the Doran Shield for extra healing as well. Let's see, is he shoving that? Is there, if Xerath was still mid, I maybe look for a mid run here. He's kind of, he's probably wondering what's going on. Mm. I thought I'd be able to get him when the minion moves to the side, but he actually went down. Or he actually went left. Endless trial. I should use the second part of my W there, because the W gives me a uh, spell vamp too. We do what we do. Ow. Victor's charming up. I just used my Q though. Uh, J says flash. I don't know if this works. You know, I've seen a lot of Lee Sin's miss that Q, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Even though it's supposed to be like a guaranteed Q, that was kind of a weird angle, and he went to the Fog of War. So I can't just strip click on him. Oh. In the comments, rate that uh, ult plus Q combo uh, out of 10. It's probably a 1. Let me shove this in. So the reason I'm shoving this in for you guys who um, are a little bit new to uh, wave management, basically I'm just trying to make sure that this wave gets all the way into the turret, which will force the enemy wave to kind of get stalled, right? This wave gets stalled up. Now uh, when my next wave comes up, it's going to be on his side of the lane, which will cause the wave to shove into me because his wave has less distance to travel. Let's actually just go towards like Gore Drinker. I'm just gonna prioritize the damage first. I don't really care about the movement because me sticking out to Jace just won't happen if he just, um, oh wow. Uh, set all star, I guess it's just a pop off, uh, bubbling. And everyone hates this, uh, Jace. I mean, honestly, screw Jace top. I mean, I'm walking as fast as possible. I had boots, maybe I've been here already. Wait, does. Does he just solo kill him? I'll W. Hit the Q! You had the totally deserved kill. Better jungle wins, guys. Uh, I have TP. There's also a ward down here. I'm gonna do that ping. Maybe I'll... Um, Bot lane will know to place a ward or Jin place a trap there. So I can try to TP for a bot flank. Although, I mean, just flanking a normal ADC is one thing. But uh, flanking a set, it, does that even work? I'm actually going to bush camp here. Oh, that, the Q was actually so good. And a good Q followed by a bad Q. I should have ward hop W. Instead I used it for the shield. I don't know why. Got a splash though. And the Zach just got rift, so. Oh, 
blob thing. Zach didn't have passive, or else I would just TP to his blobs. I got Gore Drinker. I'm gonna buy boots as well. Hmm. Interesting. I guess set Alistar just has really good all-in. Well, at least one thing with Jace getting killed there is he's now worth gold again. Uh, honestly, perfectly planned. The dragon has been Okay, 8280. I'm just slightly ahead. Don't really have a good TP position bottom. And I want, since uh, Zach committed Herald top, now I kind of want to get that um, top Herald. Nice, we got the dragon. I don't know if Zach has passive. So, I set really good vision mid lane uh, with that ward. Uh, definitely what I was intending there. The monks taught me well, but I determined my own fate. An enemy has been slain. I'm walking down. I see kills to be had. I'm just where? Is knowing the value. You know, I, I was so proud of my earlier Q why I did the uh, adult Q. But yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot Set was down there. That was who we were chasing with to begin with. We switched our focus to Zera, but uh. Yeah, I guess this is the thing. Set's just in between hurts. Guess want to see a trick? Oh, I'm just kidding. Wave's actually shoving a Jace top. I'm just gonna reset. Wait, I, I honestly thought I would like a skill shot went out at me because I saw the animation. Uh, let's grab Merc Treads. We have Tenacity already. Merc's just gonna help against our CC as well. Oh, actually, you know what? The wave was shoving back towards us. Not too shabby. I'll TP. Next drag's in three minutes. To yourself, master the enemy. Uh, what was that damage? Why did I just one-shot him, building Bruiser? Okay, I guess I did just hit level 11. So my kick right now does 600 damage. Just, just because, I guess. Interesting. The dragon sleeps. Oh yeah, so the lower the health I get, Gortrinker actually gives me more ID. I forgot about that. Let's go towards, we can go towards Sterex. I mean, maybe we can get, like, um, maybe, like, a Serpent's Fang or something. I think we'll, I think we'll just go straight Bruiser. I don't know how many games we're literally going to be 6-0, but. Oh, get him, Zach! All right, let me see if I can't, um, in the spot lane. Oh. Yeah, okay. All star is still just as annoying. Oh, 
I guess he didn't. Oh um, no. How do we keep forgetting about set, man? Honestly, I was trying to kick the Hecarim into the set there and make like a really flashy play. But I ended up just uh, kicking the Hecarim to safety. I'm so worth. Oh, wait, I'm fine. This house is, uh, really trying. I don't really have the energy to go in. I don't have TP either. <laughs> I, guys, I, I'm not to know. I don't understand. I just keep getting these random kills. I will atone. Maybe this shit really is strong, I don't know. I mean, I have like the absolute basics of Lee Sin down. At least like threading between his abilities. What is that? I really don't have mechanics. Wow, the shield has no, like, the shield does nothing if you don't max that. You know, I regret my decision to do that. At least we got the Herald, so. Yeah, that's a, that's a shield bow set. He kind of, kind of gets hard. Legendary. Well, he didn't get his W off, I guess. Right. Go to our Cirques. I'm just gonna build a BF sword. Don't know what I'll turn this into. Probably GA. I just want the AD. I can go Death Dance versus this team because they have a lot of physical damage. It's only uh, zero the magic. Can this guy fight against me? Yeah, I guess not. As long as he had the Q. If he had kind of between his minions a little bit better, maybe he could have fought me. But my Cerex didn't even pop there. So I still had uh, some HP left. We do what we must. Uh, you know we probably should give the red buff to Jin, but I kind of want it for healing for right now. My team will thank me later. and just died. <laughs> I'm not confident. Oh my god, he dodged my Q. I waited so long for that too. That's a tilter. Does he have ult? I'm not gonna... Yeah, I didn't want to get baited if he had ult. I wasn't sure. I thought Thresh might be setting up something, but... Let's see, we need 1500 for GA. Don't I have ult? 
You know, my ultimate is a 60 second cooldown? Quiet steps. Why is it why is the cooldown so low? You know, what, I'm gonna grab GI. I return to my I don't wanna give up a 700 gold shutdown, honestly, to any of these characters. Give it to Zareth would probably be the worst though. The dragon answers in flame. Just because if he does that and gets like a Medjai or something, he can actually pop off. We do have pretty good engage with Zunk, but still. If Alstar ever decided to uh, peel the Zara instead of just going in, uh, this game might be hard. You know, that fight was way closer than I thought. I, he has a really good at 1v1 build. Just because he has a shield bone. He has shield bone and Zerkers. So he's all about the 1v1. Yeah, I beat him, which is a good sign. Could TP like here. Kind of want this. We don't even have this bot turret down. I think the longer this game goes, the worse the Lee gets. Although, since her team's kind of squishy, I think my uh, my old one shot still works on the Jason, the Zara face fail game. And then I can still get pretty tanky. Walking up. I don't know. Can actually do anything. Oh, both me and Fresh shot the same thing. Today will be a worthy test. I mean, we're about to get Mountain Soul. Alright, I kinda wanna test to see if I can do the ward hop kick. Alright, prediction in the comments. If you guys think I could do the uh, the ward hop kickback, the insect. Oh, wait, what? Predict that one. This, I mean, this just looks really funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I could have tanked the turret for him, but instead I just, <laughs> I just hopped over solo. Uh, we haven't really, we need to push in him turrets. We need to end this game before it can use us. Although they don't have uh, ADC, so you know, me taking blue buff actually isn't bad because blue buff gives me energy regen. It's actually pretty important, least in, especially if I wanted to build more ability haste than I do now. Alright, what's recommended tell me? Oh, still shoulder guards, perfect. That's my uh that's my perfect fifth item. That's exactly what I was thinking, right? Uh let's do this. The dragon blade. By the way, what do you guys think of the uh the combos that uh Riot's been giving us uh from that patch a couple times ago? I uh I don't know what I think about it. They've been recommending to me on Trinimer Top, they've been recommending Long sword, pink ward start top lane. I don't know why, but um, they've been recommending it. Let's force Baron. It's more fun. Plus, I think like trying to push a Zerif wave clear under turret sounds really terrible. I have a couple words. We have really good engage. Me and Zach just tank this forever. Like I can just keep shielding him. Plus, we have mountain. Okay. Well, I did a thing, but I uh, did the wrong direction. I'm pretty tanky. I bet. I think we just won, right? Actually, we just have to get the Baron because our death timer is for 20 seconds. That's fine too. Uh, we have Black Cleaver. 
Actually, I don't know why the game wrecked me back here. I should have 100% went Death Dance. Because none of their team is building armor, right? So the Shred is kind of worth nothing. I guess the ability haste is pretty good. And it gives me action move speed. Oh, well, can I get Death Dance from this position? Cost me 2k though. That's too much for me. We actually have 339 attack damage. While also having 3,000 HP and 171 armor. Not too shabby. And then we have the, uh... There's the Mountain Soul as well. Oh, you want to give me a red buff? Oh, he's probably pinging it for Jin. But I'm just going to save those for me. Let's walk up. Alright, this is my moment. Oh. Oh! Wait, you see that? Wait, you guys saw that, right? Alright. <clears throat> On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being insect, how much of an insect was that? Oh, set is AFK. I guess his uh, full crit set build didn't work out. Turret. I don't want to ruin my KDA. If you die to pure damage from the fountain laser, your PA doesn't proc. I'll give you the death. But anyways, let me let me know what you think of least and top. Is this gonna be the new meta? I honestly have no idea. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. It really does help a lot, a lot guys. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.